Hey guys and welcome back to another episode of Skyrim Special Edition. So Skyrim Special Edition launches tomorrow. I know you guys are so, so excited and honestly I can't wait for you guys to get hold of it too. Continuing our series though, so we are following the main questline of Skyrim. So in the last episode we went back to the Greybeards to speak to their leader to see if he could help us bring down Alduin and we actually met the leader of the Greybeards who is a dragon called Parthenax. So he's told us that we need to get the Elder Scroll combined with a spell called Dragon Rent and land the dragon and then use the Elder Scroll to lock Alduin away forever. Hopefully, hopefully we can finally defeat him. So we have now discovered that we need to get this Elder Scroll and it is in a place called the Black Reach, which is a Dwemer ruin. So let's kick off, let's go and find the Elder Scroll. So guys, here we are at the Dwemer ruins where hopefully we're gonna find the Black Reach and get the Elder Scroll. So, first of all, we've got to find a way inside. Our horse is still alive! Our horse is actually still alive. Which is pretty awesome because I always find that my horses in Skyrim have this habit of dying. So, I don't think we can get in that way. I think that's where we'll come back out. So, we need to figure out where the entrance to the ruin is. I also don't know where our follower is. I think he's called Vo Vostag or something. He seems to have disappeared. But when he comes, I will show you that I've given him the rest of my blades armor that I'm not currently wearing. So he's wearing like the chest plate and the helmet. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, I thought we'd accidentally just fall into our deaths then. That would not have been ideal. Oh, oh gosh. Okay, okay. Here we go. Here is an entrance. Let's use this. There's some wolf fiends down there as well, but we'll leave those alone. So let's go into the Alf... Alftund Ruin Tower. Hopefully my follower's going to appear. Yeah, so look, he's got... One minute, I think I've got... Can I use this? Yeah. There we go. So we can see his blade's arm. He's got the helmet. He's got the, um, the breastplate. And he's got the shield. I've also wanted to give him the sword that you guys mentioned in the comments. Oh gosh, hello. I'll fight that guy in a sec. Because I wanted to show you. You mentioned to me that I could get to the Dragonbane sword. So I went back to the temple and I picked that up. I also picked up the blade sword, which I wanted to give to him. But he's reached his carry weight because I've given him all my dragon, uh, my dragon bones and my dragon scales. So I will sell those at some point so I can give him that so he can have the full rig out. But for now, let's attack these little, little uh, dwarven spider worker. So I've also got a new spell. I need to equip it actually. So I'm going to start using this lightning bolt spell. It's apprentice rather than flames, which is novice. So we will get a little bit more bang for our book, but we'll also... Oh, there we go. We'll also be using a little bit more magic for every time as well. Now some of these guys have filled soul gems inside them, so they're definitely worth picking up because then you can use them to enchant. If you don't have a soul inside your soul gem, gem then you can't use it to enchant. Oh, there we go. Look at that. I actually smashed him apart. So we can't actually get any further in this way. Look, we'd have to get through that door. So there must be another entrance that we have to figure out. Yeah, look, okay. Let's follow this. Vostag got to the other oh. side. He's definitely in the right place because my clairvoyance is telling me to go that way. I don't really know how he's done that though. So he's clearly got an inside job going on. So there we go. We'll set you on fire as punishment. Oh God. How do I stop them from burning? I'm just going to have to run through. Okay. And here we are. No, we're not. It's just taking us back the same way. Are you joking? Okay, so we're now in the ruins. So the Dwemer are like, um, hello. They're like a dwarven race. They don't exist anymore. They seem to have all died out. Um, and these are the ruins that they left behind. They were like really advanced in terms of like mechanics and that kind of thing. Uh, and you'll see when we get deeper into the ruins that they have all kinds of like machines that are still fighting to this day to protect the ruins. So, quite a cool race. But they were a bit of an evil race because there was another um, elf race that doesn't exist anymore. Well, it does, but in a different form called the Snow Elves. And they fought with the Dwemer. And then the Dwemer like won and enslaved them. And they enslaved them like down in the depths of like the middle of, well, un under the ground basically and made them slaves for them. And they were there for so long that they became blind and just were basically became kind of feral. And they are, they still exist down. So we'll probably see them later on and you can see what they've turned into. They definitely don't look like elves anymore. Oh gosh. <laughs> 
Vostag screaming down there. I'll leave him to it. He seems to have that totally covered. Who is this? <gasps> Another of the smooth skins looking for Hey, Yurik. What are you doing, Kashi? Oh, gosh! <laughs> you have no chill. So there's some Kajits here. I need to get my answer spells out, don't I? I reckon they've come to loot the place. And instead they've run into the Dragobarn. Oh, this fight's really cool. You like this little roly polies and everything. No. No mercy. So these guys must have come to loot the place. Typical Kajits. Oh, his brother's already dead. Oh, empty skooma bottles. They were having skooma, which is like the drugs of Skyrim. <laughs> so these guys were not, they weren't nice guys. They weren't nice guys. It's good that we killed them, really. <gasps> oh my gosh, so that's one of the big workers that attacks you as well. There's even bigger ones than that, but these guys are actually pretty tough. Oh, I don't have my shot yet, I don't have my shot yet. Luckily, I've got Vorshag. I miss Stray Dog. I do miss Stray Dog. I don't know where he's gone. I can't get another one, so I feel like he's alive somewhere and just like glitched out a little bit. She's very sad. I've had that happen to my, um, you get like this cool horse. Ooh, got some good stuff from this guy. For um, completing the Dark Brotherhood quest line, and mine just disappeared, <laughs> never to return again, which was pretty annoying. What the hell? Oh my god, I just fell like down the longest drop ever. Do you think they'd have put some safety warnings if they were gonna do something like that? So we've seen the bodies of lots of adventurers that have tried to get into these mines before and seem to have taken the route I just took as well. So these are the Falmer! So this is what the snow elves have become. I will show you them once we kill them how ugly their faces are now. Oh, and obviously- no, stop! Stop! Don't roll all the way down! Stop! No! Okay, bye! But okay. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. Maybe we'll show you another, but basically, look, can you see? They've kind of gone all ugly and... It's from being trapped in the ground for so long by the Dwemer. Oh, I wanted to try and push him off the edge. So they're all, they all just keep rolling down, but yeah, that's how they look now. So you can still see they've got elf ears, but other than that, yeah, they're pretty grim nowadays. <laughs> I think because they're blind, the rest of their senses are like improved, but still, I don't really think it's worth going blind for. This is my little staff in action. Pow! Went down. <gasps> Ooh, level up! Hey, let's give ourselves some more magic here because we are running out pretty quickly at the moment. And then what else should we do to give ourselves? Should we boost our destruction magic even more? Well, we're using quite a lot of shock at the moment, so let's give this a little cheeky boost. <gasps> oh my gosh! <laughs> we walked straight into that trap. That has seriously damaged our health, but I think we're super close to the Elder Scroll now. More farmer. Yeah, lighting on your brain. Nice little slow mo finish there as well. <gasps> wow, this place is pretty huge. Should we be sneaky? Nope, he's seen us. <laughs> Boom. Teamwork just makes dream work. What's this? Did the Elder Scroll be just up here? Nope. Oh gosh. A big huge Dwarven Centurion is though and he's coming right for me. Oh my gosh! <laughs> he just steamed me to death. Literally, look at me. I'm just steaming away. So this guy is going to be hard to kill when you're level 9. Okay, so we need a different tactic for this guy. <gasps> oh gosh, why? <laughs> why do I have two lightning bolts? <laughs> Watch out for that team, Steam Vostag. He is strong. 
Oh no, he's not too hard to get down though. I think we can do this. Ball Snack is just getting beaten up for the team. Doing a good job. Oh my gosh, there's a spider fighting him as well. Spider's on our side. Yeah. You're okay, dude. Hope you get. And we took him down. So we get arrows, we get amethyst, we get oil, get a grand slow jam. It's <laughs> grand slow jam? Grand soul jam and a key to the lift, which I'm guessing we're going to need to get to the Elder Scrolls. So let's push on. This one's already dead, thank god. Ah, <gasps> here we go. Sulla, let's just get off. <gasps> Hasn't there been enough death? Uh, of course, you want me to leave. Just waiting for me to turn my back. What are these guys you doing? Have all the glory for yourself. Is someone there? What was yes, let's just walk in just let them kill each other. And then we'll just sneak in at the end and shout. Aegis. <laughs> They're not the kind of team that me and Vostag are. Get him. Yeah. Not like this. You're so, wait, you're still alive. Well done. So they must have been coming for this as well. But they didn't get it. So now I think we have to imprint the Elder Scroll onto here somehow. Oh gosh. Well, would you look at that? What's in here? Is that the way to get out afterwards? Yeah, I think it is. Let's head down here then. Mm. Blackreach! Guys, we're here! We're here! <gasps> Look how amazing this place is! I absolutely love this bit because I, did th I didn't follow the main quest line of Skyrim when I originally played it for so long. Finding this bit of it was just like what the hell? It's like nothing you've ever seen in Skyrim before. Yeah. This guy is just ruining it for us. But how amazing is it? Like, it is literally incredible. And there's um, like um, a light in the middle that if you shoot it, a dragon comes out, I believe, as well. I think that's here. <gasps> Look at this place. It doesn't feel like you're in Skyrim at all. It feels like you're in some sort of crazy Lord of the Rings thing. It's so pretty. Oh gosh, I just brought him to life! Why did I do that? Why the hell did I do that? Oh my gosh. There we go. That was a bad idea. This is actually a difficult place to survive. It's deceptive because it's so pretty, but everything wants to kill you. Is this the right way? To the Tower of Mazark. Mm. Let's do it, guys. <gasps> that is very glowy. That is very glowy. <laughs> it looks like the horrible, um, like, energy-saving light bulbs my dad makes my mum install everywhere. <laughs> oh, here we go. Don't go too far ahead. <gasps> Look at him looking out for me. Bless him. Oh, yeah, the ultimate dream team. So now I believe we have to like align everything, but do we have to put something in the middle first? We have to make a pattern perhaps. Okay, let's just start trying to press buttons and see what happens. No? Can't activate any of them yet. <gasps> oh! Something happened. Here we go. Do you think we have to make that pattern there? It's so hard to even see what I'm supposed to be doing. Okay, so only these ones work for now. <gasps> okay. And what about you? What do you do? Oh. <gasps> Ooh. I feel like I've done something right. Have I done it right? <gasps> Look! Ah! I, th 
think that's released the Elder Scroll. I don't know what I pressed, but it seemed to work. <laughs> and there it is, the Elder Scroll. <gasps> Elder Scroll Dragon added. Do we have to take the lexicon as well or not? Completed Elder Knowledge. <gasps> Started Alduin's Bane. So we've got it. We we've, we've read the Elder Scroll at the Time Wound. So we have to go back to where... Um, to the top of the Greybeard's Mountains, to the top of the Throat of the World, where Alduin was defeated last, and read the Elder Scroll there. Oh, the sword's always open to here, I see. Ah. Look, that is what the Dwemer look like. Dwarfy. Just like Lord of the Ring dwarfs. Let's help then. <laughs> Let's help then. Wait, what? Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay, so, guys, let's head back to Throat of the World. First of all, hello, chest. So, we have the Elder Scroll, but we don't have the spell. Where is he? <laughs> oh, he's there, he's there, he's there. Time shudders at its touch. Why is he all the way up here? There is no question. You are doom-driven. Kolgan Akatosh. The very bones of the earth are at your disposal. But we don't have the spell yet. Fulfill your destiny. That's right, we need to Take use the, the Elder Scroll to go to back time. in time to the people who originally created the spell. So this is the time wound here. Oh, so that's why it was all jiggly before, because time is broken here. We noticed that last time we were here. Okay, let's see if it lets us use the Elder Scroll. It should appear there, right? Elder Scroll. Is it working? Oh, yes! <gasps> what? Learn Dragonman Shout from the Nord Heroes. So we're going right back to the ancient Nords. Today So we're seeing that fight. Restored. But I honor your courage. Kreef Wolf Akrin. Die now in vain. Get him! Get the dragon! Get him! Quick! <sighs> Oh my gosh, he's just fighting with like fire straight into his face. <gasps> oh, there's dead bodies everywhere. Hey! Oh, she's kick ass. I like her. <gasps> oh, well done. Hey, Con! A glorious day, is it not? Have you no thought beyond the blooding of your blade? <laughs> what else is there? Battle below goes ill. If Aldun does not rise to our challenge, I fear all may be lost. You worry too much, brother. Victory will be ours. She's confident, man. Why does Aldun hang back? We've staked everything on this plan of yours, old man. He will come. He cannot ignore our defiance. And why should he fear us even now? <gasps> I think he's coming. <gasps> Is this him? No, there's there's loads of dragons in the sky. They did not have dragon rend. Once we bring him down, I promise. I will have his head. Mm, I like her. Understand. Alduin cannot be slain like a lesser dragon. He is beyond our strength, which is why <gasps> I brought the Elder Scroll. Veldir, we agreed not to use it. I never agreed. And if you are right, I will no, not need it. We will deal with Alduin ourselves. Hear it now. We shall see soon enough. Alduin approaches. <gasps> Where? <gasps> is this him? There's so many of them. There's dragons everywhere. <laughs> Imagine if he just never came. <gasps> Here he is. Here he is. Me. Ah, me. 
He does not do the helpful translations. <laughs> Let those that watch from Savingard envy us this day. Oh, look, they used it. And now we've learned Dragon Rend. And look at that, it pulls him out of the sky. Quick, kill him now. Kill him quick! Kick! Kill him quick! To feed my power, I come for you in Southern Heart. <gasps> if I die today, it will not be in So he's gonna chase them into Southern Heart. Are you gonna manage to kill him? <gasps> oh, she is dead! She was trying to hit him directly in the mouth, and that's happened to me a few times. So I kind of expected that. <gasps> so he is using the Elder Scroll. On this age and send you out. You are banished. <gasps> Help you out from all our endings unto the last. He did it. He sent him back in time. You are banished. <gasps> but the lady died. He's going to be Work. pretty annoyed. Did it. Yes, the world eater is gone. May the spirits have mercy on our souls. So that's how it was done last time. And we've learned Dragon Rant. Hooray! So now he's defeat Alduin. What? Is he coming here now? <gasps> he's here! Oh, we, we, I don't actually think we, we learned the shout though. We've got a dragon soul to use on it though. Oh no, it's given us it. <gasps> okay, let's get it ready. Let's get it ready. Die now and await your fate in Southern Guard. Right. Shall I use Dragon Wrench yet? <gasps> Do Did we hit him? Is he going to come down? He's going blue. I think we did. I think we did. I kind of want a battle axe for this fight because I want to fight like the Norse did. So let's let's get one of those. <gasps> he's down, he's down. Quick, fight him! Oh gosh! Oh please don't grab us! Don't grab us! Don't grab us! Oh gosh! <laughs> he's actually pretty strong and I can't really see what I'm doing. Yeah. Keep dragon rending. I brought him down, I did it, I did it. Is he helping us fight? Oh my gosh, he's really strong. He's really, really strong. I don't think I'm going to be able to beat him this way. <gasps> oh, please have some health potions. No, I don't have anything. The only thing I have is that. There we go. Oh, I think we missed him that time. <gasps> he's sending fireballs to us. I need to bring him down, but my thing is recharging. This has got path and it's helping us. He's so old. Help us! <gasps> Dragon Bane does 20 points of extra damage to dragons. We're gonna use this. We're gonna use this. <gasps> He's down again. <gasps> oh my gosh, she's coming right for us! <gasps> Don't grab us! Don't grab us! <laughs> Okay. Now let's get Dragon Bane out. No! 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 Quick! Yes! We did it! Oh my gosh, look at our health! Look at our health! 
Oh my gosh. No. I don't want to talk to you. <gasps> Do you think I need to get the Elder Scroll off? He's like Voldemort, he's left his soul everywhere. You cannot prevail against me. I will outlast you. No! <gasps> Half an Alex, come back down again. What just happened? We defeated him. Why don't we just open up the Elder Scroll? Explain, dude. Lot Congrach. You truly have the oh, voice of a Look how much blood he's got on him. Alduin's allies will think twice after this victory. Mm. It wasn't really a victory since Alduin escaped. True, this is not the final Krongra victory. But not even the heroes of old were able to defeat Alduin in open battle. Why do we kill him and fight him in Sovngarde? Alduin always was Pachlok, arrogant in his power. Uznagar Par, he took domination as his birthright. But how do we defeat him then? This should shake the loyalty of the Dove who serve him. Thank gosh for Dragonsbane. Yes, one of his allies could tell us, Mat Mahus, but it will not be so easy to convince one of them to betray him. How do we do that then? Perhaps the Hafkasayun, the palace in Whiterun, Dragon's <gasps> Reach. We have to capture it was a dragon. Built to house a captive Dova. A fine place to trap one of Alduin's allies, hmm? We have to convince the poor, like, Jarl. <laughs> mm -hmm. Can you just, like, allow yes, your palace to become a dungeon instead? But is strong. I do not doubt that you can convince him of the need. So why, we need to go back to Whiterun and try and convince the Jarl to just be like, you know this, like, nice, cozy palace you've got going on here? Can we just, like... Destroy all that and put a dragon in it, please. And also, probably kill half your citizens. So that should be super, super easy. I am going to leave that, though, for the next episode. That was pretty awesome. We went back in time. We discovered how to get dragon rend. We, we went through all those elven um, ruins to find the Elder Scroll. And we also fought Alduin, which was really, really hard. He is a tough enemy. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Skyrim Special Edition. Tomorrow, I'm actually going to be posting a comparison of the intro of Skyrim on 360, Skyrim on Xbox One, and Skyrim on PC with mods and with an EMB. I couldn't capture the intro of this game, uh, the, the bit where... You were originally captured up until where you escaped the caverns at the beginning. I wasn't allowed to capture that for whatever reason, so I started this gameplay after that. So what I'm going to do for that comparison is I'm going to show off that bit, that intro of the game, with those three scenes. Hopefully I won't run into any issues doing that on PC, because a lot of mods can break that beginning scene. And I've never done it since playing on PC. I've always used Live Another Life and started somewhere else completely different in the map. But we're going to give it a go. I'm going to record that and that will be tomorrow's video. So you can see how much these graphics have improved between 360 and also see how they compare to PC. So I hope you guys are looking forward to that video. Make sure you tune in tomorrow to watch it and I'll see you guys then. Bye.